Hi, I'm Charlie, Charlie the Chihuahua, and today we're going to learn all about chihuahuas. Hey, guess what? Did you know that chihuahuas are the tiniest dogs in the world? We can weigh as little as two pounds and rarely are more than six pounds. That's about one to three kilograms. We only stand about five to six inches tall, and we have large pointy ears and short pointed muzzles, and our eyes are round and large. Chihuahuas are a little bit longer than we are tall, and we have a long tail that curls up over our backs. And did you know that chihuahuas have two different types of coats? One is smooth and short, and the other is long and soft with fringed ears and legs. Chihuahua's fur comes in almost any pattern and color. And chihuahuas are also considered long-lived dogs. We can typically live up to about 14 years old, and we're excellent companion dogs. We like attention and we are very loyal to our owners. Even though we are considered lap dogs, we do like to keep active and keep busy. We're great family dogs when treated nicely, but sometimes we have a reputation for snapping or growling at strangers as well as small children that may seem threatening to us because of our small size. And like many other small dogs, Chihuahuas are more prone to barking than larger dogs. And we can also be a little bit temperamental. Thanks for that great information, Charlie. Now it's my turn. Hi, I'm Chucky, and I'm gonna teach you some history about Chihuahuas. The history of Chihuahuas is kind of up in the air. Nobody really knows. Chihuahuas are named after the Mexican state of Chihuahua, where we were discovered in about 1850. Some experts believe the Aztecs or Incas developed us as a breed, but others say the breed can be linked back to Spanish dogs as far back as the 1500s. The first Chihuahuas are believed to have come to the United States in the early 19th century. And did you know that the introduction of Chihuahuas to the public really has a funny story? An opera singer named Adelina Patti made the breed famous in 1890 when she was given a Chihuahua hidden in a bouquet presented by the President of Mexico. And in the 1940s, band leader Xavier Cugat was known for conducting the band with a Chihuahua snuggled under his arm. And in more recent years, recognition and appreciation of us increased thanks to the adorable Chihuahua seen in the old Taco Bell commercials. Chihuahuas, like me, are believed to be descendants of an ancient dog breed called the Tachiki. The earlier version of Chihuahuas was probably much larger than the Chihuahuas that we see today. But after being crossed with smaller hairless dogs from Asia, our breed shrank in size. I surely hope you're liking this video a lot and learning a lot about Chihuahuas. My name's Suki and I'm going to teach you now. Did you know that Chihuahuas have a soft spot on our heads called Malera? Just like an infant does. But unlike infants, a Chihuahua could have a spot for our entire life. It depends on our size, genetics, and skeletal structure. But if Chihuahuas are show dogs, we aren't penalized for having Malera. And did you know that even though Chihuahuas are the smallest dog breed, Chihuahuas have the biggest brains in the world. But sometimes this can cause issues because our fragile necks have a lot of work to do to keep our heads up. Another issue that causes health problems for us is having a small mouth. We sometimes have dental problems and this can lead to tooth decay, gum disease, and sometimes this can even cause more serious issues like having a stroke. So it's important to have Chihuahua teeth checked by the vet each year to prevent serious issues. We are quick-witted and easy to train, but we're not so easy to housebreak. That's because of our tiny bladders and our strong-willed personalities. Did you know that Chihuahuas are mostly dry desert dogs, so we really don't like the rain or the cold too much. And because we're very small, we compensate with our size by being very fierce. Rawr! <laughs> One study found that Chihuahua puppies are the most aggressive breeds towards humans and other dogs outside of our own breed. And Chihuahua owners are instructed to socialize us with other people and dogs early in our lives. Hello, my name is Sid, Sid the Chihuahua, and now I will be the last one to tell you about Chihuahuas. Did you know that Chihuahua is Mexico's largest state? It borders Texas, Arizona, 
and New Mexico. Since many of the breed were found in the state of Chihuahua, this naturally became our name. Chihuahuas hide under just about anything. Bed linens, blankets, towels, pillows, and even dirty clothes. Scientists think this is a Chihuahua's instinct and was passed down from its Tachiki ancestors. When the Tachiki breed roamed to Central and North America, they liked a dug in the sand and vegetation for warmth and protection from predators. Chihuahuas many times are described as applehead or deerhead, depending on their facial characteristics. Applehead Chihuahuas have a round head with a 90 degree stop where the muzzle meets the forehead. And a deerhead Chihuahua has a longer and more angular head similar to a deer's head. That is a lot of information about Chihuahuas, don't you think? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this video and learning from all of my friends and learning all about us little tiny Chihuahuas with big brains and big hearts to love you. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and let us know. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell notification for more videos. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.